Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today we have Bath versus the Bristol Bears. The Premiership rugby game that's taking place today live and in action on EA Sports Rugby 23. Which as we know is a modded version of Rugby 08, the GOAT of rugby video games. I'm going to be doing things slightly differently, I think, with my match recreations going forward. And I'll talk you through that in these videos as well. But before we do, let's please drop a like if you enjoy this content. Leave a comment down below. Let me know who you think will be winning in real life. And I hope you're going to say, up the bears. And if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button to stay up to date with the channel. Good take straight away from Purdy and we've turned it over. But yeah, as you know guys, I've always done these match recreation videos on my channel. Um, the, the plain story is of it is I've had success before with it being getting a lot of views. Um, that is mainly because it's clickbait. People think it's the real match highlights. They search it in looking... Um, to watch the real match highlights and I've always done it um, I've had some scrutiny from it before of course because it's not ideal content it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination um, because mainly it's clickbait um, we've turned the ball over there again but I've always done it because I thought look if I can get 5,000, 4,000, you know, I've had these match creation videos get 20,000 videos before, uh, views before, um, when, uh, it was the British and Irish Lions versus South Africa, um, if I can get those eyes on the channel, whether it's good, bad, whatever it may be, at least it's eyes on the channel, and I get a lot of people subscribing, a lot of people checking out the other content, so I've always used it as a bit of a promotional tool, shall we say um as red path looks like bath are gonna go over pretty early here the tricky thing for me is concentrating on talking and playing at the same time which is a struggle but yeah i've, I've had i've had a bit of scrutiny it has helped the channel at certain points with a lot of views a lot of people coming across and subscribing and checking out my other what i call real content but I think I've got to the point now where I just don't want to be giving the channel poor content in any way whatsoever. You know, not much effort goes into uh, those videos. Uh, I just sit there, I play the game, and I clickbait it with a thumbnail. Um, yeah, with a thumbnail, with, with the way uh, I word the title, the match highlights and things like that. Red Path has finally gone over. It looked like it was only a matter of time. So I'm going to give things another go. I'm going to play the game. I'm going to commentate with it. I'm going to give my thoughts on the game in real life as I play the video game. So it's not just going to be pure gameplay like the old ones were. And I'm going to sit and I'm going to talk to you guys while I play the games. I'm going to thumbnail them better. I'm going to title them better so you guys know exactly what they are. Um... Yes, it's going to cost me views because uh, people aren't going to think it's the real match highlights and they aren't going to tune in. But I think for the future of the channel, all videos, I need to focus on the quality. And those ones were not quality. They were just there for clickbait. Um, so yeah, hopefully I still garner the views. Um, I've been doing a lot of YouTube shorts recently as well, which has been going very, very well. And I've had lots of steady growth. Um, so that's also made me think about it because I can get more people checking out the channel via them as well. And yeah, I just really want to give this a big, big shot this year. And um, like I've said since the start of the year, producing some sort of content every single day, whether it's on TikTok, whether it's on here, whether it's shorts, Instagram, whatever it may be. I'm just looking to really give it the whole thing a real go this year with a new rugby video game coming out, a Rugby World Cup, we've got Fantasy Rugby, we've got all sorts of content on this channel, and I don't want to dampen it with these clickbaity match highlights view grabs, basically. So this is how we're going to do things. I'm going to play a variety of different video games and play along with them. 
Um, so, to, yeah, and to begin with, we have the Cider Derby, as it's called. Bath versus Bristol. And the interesting thing about this is I will actually be at the game. I will be going to the wreck. I will be going into enemy territory as a Bears fan for the first time. You know, I've, I've not been to the wreck before. Um, I know people who certainly have. Um, and have certain comments about the ground. I'm going to be in an open end stand, so hopefully it's not raining. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I, I've not really, I've not really done any away days before as a Bristol Bears fan. So, ah, um, oh, terrible pressing the wrong button there. We put Bath in a brilliant position. Yeah, I've only ever been to Ashton Gate. I've been to Twickenham uh, to watch England games. Um, but not really done any away days, so I'm excited about that. Of course, I will also look to vlog the game, as I usually do with these sorts of things. Is he over the line? I thought he was held up there, but they've given Bath the try. I mean, his back's gone to the ground. But there we go. Yeah, so I'll be there. I'll be at the wreck, hopefully not getting absolutely drenched watching Bath versus Bristol. And what do I think of the actual game? I mean, both teams have had a terrible, terrible season. Not really much to write home about. Bristol won against Newcastle this weekend, which means uh, they were lifted off the bottom of the table. Uh, so there are a couple of places now ahead of Bath, who are at the bottom of the table. Um, so, yeah, Bristol really could do with a victory here and just putting some... Uh, points between them and Bath. Terrible kick there from Cipriani. Um, yeah, if Bath win, then it really does tighten that gap up again, unfortunately. Um, which, like I said, they could do with a bit of breathing space as we get to the last six or seven games of the Premiership season. Uh, you know, there's not many points between the teams... As we turn over the ball again. Um, all the way through the Premiership. It's an ex extremely close season. Um, a Largo breaking three. Can we finally do something here? Nope, he's got up to the 22 and we've still got the ball though. Yeah, I mean, a few wins for Bristol could put us right up there. Um, obviously not for the title in any way whatsoever. Um... Nice pass, Purdy going over. That's one try back just before half time. Obviously, it's a very, very outside shot that they're going to get right up in the sort of uh, playoff places. I mean, it's possible, but it's very, very unlikely. Um, but yeah, just finishing the season with a bang is all I'm looking for from Bristol, really. Getting some wins on the board, climbing up the table as far as they can, and just salvage some pride. Um, would, would be fantastic. I mean, the wreck on this game still does look incredible for a game that came out as long ago as it did. Bit more wind. Did that go over? Yes, it did. What a conversion. Clip the crossbar on the way through. And then, of course, for Bath. Again, terrible season. You know, they, they, they wouldn't want to finish bottom, I'm sure, with um, Finn Russell coming next season. You want him to come into the team playing as well as they can. Obviously, he's a fantastic player. Um, so you would think next season, Bath are really going to be a team to watch out for. Um, they've made a few additions from the uh, Worcester in particular. And uh, Watson's gone through on the stroke of half time. Yeah, but uh, my point I'm making is that Bath are making steady progress in getting a good solid squad together, particularly for next season. Of course, Bristol are the same. There's every Premiership team are the same at the minute. There's a lot of hoo ha about the salary cap and having to get rid of players and. Um, Balancing the books, so to say, much better. Um, damn. 
the game is frozen. Unbelievable. The game has frozen and crashed. So that is not brilliant. I haven't really got much time, so I can't really record it again. Um, but Bath looked like they were heading towards a victory anyway in that game. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the start of my new match recreations. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win this matchup on Friday night. Is it going to be Bath? Is it going to be the Bears? Up the Bears! Come on, Bristol. I'm going to be there. I'm looking forward to it. Of course, a vlog will be coming from the game as well at some point. I'll do my best to get as much footage as possible. Please do drop a like if you've enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button to stay up to date with the channel with a big year ahead. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the... Virtual Scrum.